So when Broca published, you know, uh, his examination of this patient's brain post-mortem, this Broca's aphasic, who came, came to be known as, you know, he had Broca's aphasia, um, he uh, actually, the guy died from his leg infection, so Broca wasn't all that great, you know, at treating that particular aspect of his um, health. Um, however, um, he, he examined the brain, and he found that on the left side, there was a very specific area that where this guy had had suffered significant stroke damage a decade earlier, um, and this was in the left frontal lobe. So, you know, from this overhead, it was the posterior portion of the left inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe. Um, and Broca, once he published this um, paper, was sent many other patients who had similar problems or, you know, uh, also had problems with language production issues and you know he hopefully didn't kill them all but like he examined a lot of brains of individuals who had suffered this kind of language loss like uh, production loss and he found that you know strokes you know for example don't respect specific anatomical boundaries but typically there was overlap in this region for those who experienced significant loss of language production ability that is their ability to speak or their ability to sign or their ability to write um, and so this area um, became known as Broca's area. 